Welcome to the vlog everybody, Mark here again, and today's a really, really exciting day. More importantly, this time of year, the auto show hits town here, 2019, and there's some great cars. For example, the Felino CB7R, as well as the new Jeep and the Toyota Supra Turbo. Don't forget, there's also some great new BMW models. I can't wait to see all the great new cars. So let's go take a look, guys. We're in the Edmonton Auto Show in the supercar circle here. We have a bunch of exotics. I'm going to walk around and give you the why I would own that particular car. There's a whole raft of them here. I'm going to walk around, review them quickly, give you a few quick specs, and tell you why I would or would not own these cars. So let's start right here, guys. So here we have a late model LP570, super legera. These are absolutely the one of the best of the best. Like this, if you like Gallardos, this is one of the best cars. This is the Gallardo to have, no questions asked. It's lighter weight because it's a super legera, which means lightweight. It has carbon fiber mirrors, carbon fiber interior on the dashes and all kinds of other places. You've got carbon fiber wing, carbon fiber rear diffuser very very attractive car and realistically one of the best Gallardos that money can buy aside from say a Super Trofeo or something like that this one has a 5.2 liter V10 normally aspirated engine that produces a whole lot of power and it goes like stink so would I own this absolutely because it's reliable that V10 engine that's shared with Audi is super dependable super reliable and this is the latest and greatest from the brand in terms of before you move into the Huracan. So would I buy this? Absolutely. Amazing car, no doubt. Then we have a Maserati here. What can you say? Ferrari drivetrain. This one's been slammed and widened. We've got these fender extensions on there. This isn't stock, obviously. It's been slammed pretty hard. We've got the fender flares, the deep dish rims. Pretty stunning looking car, no questions. Pretty stunning car carbon fiber rear diffuser as well in there just a really really unique looking machine with a Ferrari drivetrain so would I drive something like this oh yeah a little difficult on these roads because it sits so low but at the end of the day it looks absolutely amazing this is definitely a show car but it is a car worth owning it looks the part it sounds the part beautiful and then what do we have over here? We have a Murcielago. This one here is an early car. Uh, this is an early Roadster. E-gear car, so that means it's the semi-automatic, automated manual gearbox in there. This has the V12 engine tucked in behind here. V12 Lamborghini. It doesn't get any better than that, sorry, but that's just the way it is, guys. So you have the gullwing, the flip-up doors, because it's the V12 car, they all have the flip-up doors. Lamborghini, what can you say? Center-mounted pipe. These vents come up and go down based on heating and cooling demands for the car. If the car starts getting hot, these come up. They can go down. These are left right now in the upper rise, up rise position. But overall, just an absolute stunning machine. Back when Lamborghini was really sort of at the transition from Audi, from Lamborghini to Audi. This is sort of at the tail end of the actual Lamborghini cars, like the Diablo was the last of the real Lamborghini, the handmade, low volume, 
real Lamborghini car with all of its imperfections. It was really a Lamborghini through and through. This one here was the predecessor and in realistically is better than a Diablo. Drives better, go faster, and honestly it has enough updates to make it interesting. So yes, I would love this car. As a matter of fact, I've thought about buying one. We'll see, time will tell, right? Then what do we have over here? Here we have a pretty wild looking rig. Look at all this carbon on here. V8, we got the huge G-Wagon all jacked with the big tires on it. The G550, pretty bold, pretty spectacular looking nonetheless. You think you can drive down the road and not get noticed in that? Absolutely not. Very beautiful car. Look at the shock arrangement in there. Look at the tailpipe, the side mounted pipes. Interesting steps. Funky mirrors with the lights. Oversized wheels. Color matching front grille or front bumper. Would I buy this? Oh yeah, hey, this is Alberta we live in. You've got to be able to drive around in something that can tolerate the rough conditions. What better than something like that? So, here we move to one of my favorites. I'm not gonna lie. An Aventador SV Roadster? Are you kidding me? This is as good as it gets. Other than the SVJ, this is it. The SV, this is the next best thing. Of course, we've got the high-mounted rear carbon spoiler. We've got carbon fiber down there. Huge, huge wheels bolted over top of carbon ceramic brakes. You've got vents out. You've got vents in. Lots of cooling opportunities here in this car as well. You've got cooling opportunities in there as well and through here. Absolute stunning car inside. And because it's an SV, you'll notice it's got the carbon fiber door panels. Carbon fiber, take note, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber seat box. Absolutely stunning machine, absolutely stunning. Would I buy this? You betcha I'd buy something like that. This is high on my list for sure, but not right now. Anyway, V12, 750 horsepower, flip up doors, one of the best sounds in the business. There's nothing better than this for supercars. This is the benchmark for exotics, right there. Then what do we have over here? Well, we have raw wealth. What can you say, RWB. Here's one of those conversions. This is on a C2 car. I'm familiar with this car myself. Got the extensions on, handmade. Handmade extensions, of course. Massive deep dish wheels. Ducktail, duplicate replica ducktail from the 70s. Huge tailpipes, two of them. That is classic 911 at its best. Absolutely classic 911. Beautiful. What do we have over here? Another G-Wagon. This one's a little more down to earth, but this is a twin turbo V8. So this is an AMG G-Wagon. So you'll notice AMG. This is the one if you want to go really fast. G63. This is the Hungry, the horsepower monster. You'll notice it also has the side pipes on it. Nice matte finish wheels. Again, it's an SUV. What can you say? Alberta Roads makes sense. Lamborghini Urus. This thing's so glossy, it doesn't even, I can't even show it in this video here. So much shine to this thing. I love the Urus. I was actually. I actually participated at the unveiling in Calgary when the first Urus hit the floors and it was a beautiful car. I actually had a chance to really go through it from top to bottom and sort of give my overall feedback on the car. 
amazing car. It can go supercar fast in luxury and use it every single day. What's not to like about that? Here, so Eurus. Yes, I would definitely take one of those. And then we have a Ferrari 488. Big bull tail lights. Vents, vents, vents everywhere. This one's a convertible spider, of course. Carbon fiber. Stunning interior. This one's got the red, red and black. Can you say it's a Ferrari? In my book, any Ferrari is worth owning. So here we go, the last of the bunch. We have a Lamborghini Murcielago. It says SV on the side. SV 750-4. Well, we know that's not necessarily a 750. Obviously, it's been modified, but it is an SV kind of has the big vents has a wonderful v12 engine tucked in behind there as well what can you say it's again it's a v12 lamborghini with flip up doors and in lime green this thing just stands out like nobody's business would i own that car 100 percent. again as i said before you know i've sort of been looking for mercies as well and kind of the debate whether a guy buys a mercy lago and goes with the older generation v12 or buy a newer huracan which essentially is similar dollars nowadays for you know either or so which one would you guys do? In the comments, make sure you drop below. Let me know which one you guys would think would be the better car to own. The new tech, ultra fast Huracan, or the old tech, but amazing sound, true exotic stance, Lamborghini Murcielago. Now today we're gonna to talk about some of the cars that Audi produces. We know that customers who buy heavy duty trucks buy them for one reason, and that is to tow things. Ladies and gentlemen, making its Canadian debut here in the heart of truck country at the Edmonton Motor Show, the all new 2020 Sierra Heavy Duty AT4. Today we're standing in front of the brand new 2019 Supra. We're gonna do a quick walk around. I'm gonna share with you some of the specific features. A quick little walk around and review of this car. Okay guys, so here we are at the car show and now we're gonna find some of the really, really unique stuff.
Okay, go for it. All right, yeah, great, just... great, great. Well, thank you. It's great to be here today. Uh, we're uh, here to talk about the launch of our all new 2020 Silverado HD. We're very excited about this truck. You know, as I start from the front here, this is our LTZ trim level model. Mm -hmm. It has the maximum amount of chrome you can get. Uh, now we do have five different trim levels of these trucks. So that's gonna really help customers find the truck that's right for them. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. You make sure to give it a like, share, thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that notifications bell as well. That will let you know when the next great video is out. So I really hope to catch you guys on the flip side. Catch you then, bye-bye. <laughs>